We are live. What's up, everybody? Adam with uh, Hill Vending here in front of a Vendo 721. Vendo 721. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is this is going to get installed tomorrow. There's a, a smaller machine, an older machine that needs to be updated. So what I'm doing right now is gonna make sure the credit card reader's on there, bill validator, coin, setting up each column for the product. And I figured let's go live on here. If you're watching the replay, thanks for watching. Um, if you have a question as I'm going through, drop in the comments and I'll try to get to it in another video. But to show you here, this is a Vendo 721. Again, it's gonna be going to an account that's in a back uh kind of a back hallway so it has the zephyr hills front on it and it has the wrap on the sides normally not a big fan of having the wraps all on the on the sides of it but it's kind of in a back hallway the snack machine is going to be against it it's not in the high traffic kind of public area so we're going to roll with it we're going to leave it the way it is there's nothing wrong with it they're just getting zephyr hills is receiving free advertising. Zephyr Hills is receiving free advertising. So, again, this is a Vendo 721. If you have one of these machines, you should always, on your inner door, your product setup guide right here, your product setup guide, that's gonna tell you what you need to do if you wanna do cans, bottles, um, however you wanna set it up water bottles you know they keep making the water bottles cheaper cans this one we're going to have one column of water and then we're going to have the rest the other nine selections four deep cans now if you wanted a the uh these are going to be too deep that means too deep in the columns so let's get into it here first made sure i've got the uh, credit card reader on there already on I still have to put the bill validator in the lock right here I'm just gonna switch out from the the other machine that's on location and move this out of the way here so we're gonna do that let me see here real quick what's up everybody I'm just gonna put this on do not disturb so no one can interrupt this live stream because this is going to be some good information right here. Uh, do not disturb is now on. What's up, everybody? We're down here, Tampa Bay, 75 degrees, Champa Bay, Florida. Let's get into this. So, again, I have this on here. I have to secure this USA Technology credit card reader. If you didn't see the last video, I went ahead. I have 13 2G credit card readers I went ahead and upgraded just paid the $1,500 to get the new modems the new modems okay so all I needed to buy was these they were $119 each for 13 machines was looking at switching to NIAC was look, looking at par level different companies but I have 50 total credit card readers it just would have been too much uh too much work to try and get all that i really don't want to deal with that right now so next you'll see here we have the flavor strips already in there so we're going to carry this is what we're going to carry in this machine see if we can see right here we're going to be putting in water in this column coke mountain dew pepsi diet coke orange dr pepper ginger ale brisk tea and sprite so a nice selection right there we might have to adjust that you know if this if this coat column is draining too fast and we don't want to service it that often just to put coke in we'll we'll switch it to two columns of coke so let me see if we if you have a, a question while you're watching go ahead and drop it in the comments but so now that tells me everything that's going to go in there so the first column column one is going to be the far this column right here okay now it's a little dark to see, uh, should be all right. Should be all right to go. So 
First thing is the back spacer here. We're gonna throw a couple in here just to get an idea of how, how much play. I pull them to the front and then adjust the back spacer so it's not super tight so the bottles can fall into the cradle. Um, now I wish I had a light here. Let me get a, see if I can get a light so that we can kind of see more of what's going on in this machine. Well, <laughs> light's not in there. Let's keep rolling. So too deep. Let's move this up a little bit. Just want to adjust your back spacer so that the product, when it's in there, it's not pinched super tight, but it doesn't have too much play so that the bottle can fall in between. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just bring the back spacer up, the back spacer being that rod right there in the back. So I think that's good. Put the little plastic tab up. And we are going to, now what I like to do, this machine was bought used, so I'm gonna go through and test each column with the cans. So I've got test cans and test bottles to try it out. The next thing is the bottom, there's a little black adjustment that you need to make. Um, the product step is what it's called, this right here. So depending on the size of the bottle, you're either gonna slide it up or back, depending on the position. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do right here. Let's see what's going on back here. So it tells you on here too, on the door, how you can set it up. You know, where to pull it short, pull it forward, taller than seven, move it back. So we're gonna start out with it moved back. We're gonna plug this machine in. Nice. And we're loaded up now. Okay. Now, so I've got the machine in there. We're gonna put the machine in test mode. Right here, we're gonna scroll. Let's see, you can see it's on air. We're gonna scroll till it says test, enter, bend, column one, enter. Now it should be. Now it knows how to stop because these have a drop sensor. We're gonna try a few more bends. Just make sure that everything is Good to go. Just press the number two selection. Resets. Everything's good right there. There we go. Got some successful vins. Those columns are loaded. So now the water is set up. So the nice thing about having it set up for all cans on these next ones is they're all the same. So they can just set them up all the same. Spacer, depth set. Now that one, you have to come in here. I'll show you here and set the depth. So we go back out, press button three to go back out to the menu. Let's scroll to, uh -oh, let's go back out again. Cash, sale, cost, DST, depth set. We need to tell the machine whether it is uh, one deep, two deep, three deep, or four deep. How many deep are the cans? So we're gonna go into this menu. Can't really see it, but uh, so all, right now it says all two so all of these are set for two again we're going to have four deep cans so we need to change that so we're going to enter in here now it's flashing so for this example what i'm going to do since nine of these are going to be 
four deep. I'm going to change all of them right now to four deep. Press enter and go back. So now all of them are set. Then I can go back instead of doing each one to four deep. Now I can just go to that water that's too deep. Enter, scroll to column one that's set for four. Enter, too deep. We're going to save that and back out. So now column one with the two deep water should be two and the rest should be four deep. And that's programmed right there. So now it's simply moving the back spacers and this machine was set up with the monsters, some bottles, a bunch of different things. So the, the spacers are gonna be off a little bit. So normally these just go all the way back. This back spacer needs to go all the way to the back. So now it only fit three. So the back spacer is all the way back. can be a little bit tricky. Those can be a little bit tricky. We're going to throw in four more. So now we have eight cans set in there. I'm going to set this down there so they don't explode. Now I need to make sure the black spacer. Let's check the box. Uh, let's see, that's back. So all of them should be pulled four. So we should be good. We're going to go back into the test mode. Let's go back to test. Test, then column two now. Enter. That's loading the column. Just drop one. Now I'm going to pull those out because I don't like to transport it with cans in there. Hit it again. And then we're just going to vend them out. So now that I know this machine is working properly. Loading the column, vending the column. Now you don't have to do eight. You could be, be okay with four, but the last thing you wanna do is install this and get a call saying that this machine, something's acting up. Even though that I know this machine is a beast. So there we go. Now that next column is set. So I know that column is good. See if we have anything here. If you have a question while you're watching or the replay, let me know. Smash the like button. Down here we are setting up a Vendo 721. We're going to be adding the bill validator on there. We're going to be checking the coin mech. We're going to be plugging the uh, everything in. I'm going to show you how we connect the coin, the bill, the credit card, all that and how it's super simple once you see. So again, start with the back spacer. Looks good. Let's see, you guys can see there. I'm gonna load in these cans. The account this is coming from does not have, has about half the capacity of this machine and it's selling out. So we're going to up the capacity. We're going to go back here, column two. We're going to change that to column three. Enter.
And because I know these are great machines, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna test four at a time going forward, just to make sure it's loading in and vending out. Perfect. And that's how you're gonna do that. So. What I'm gonna do now is move over to this coin and bill and I'll finish that up in a little bit. All right, so let's see if we can turn this around here and see. We can see what's going on. So, great tool to have right here. Nut driver, 1130 seconds. It's going to get to all these, uh, all these on here. So we're going to secure the credit card reader. We are going to secure their credit card reader. I need to put the credit card reader in first because the bill validator will be blocked. So we got that on there. Put that out of the way for right now. Now we come over to the bill validator. Okay. Clean, super clean. Look at all those. Everything's clean, great. All right. Now it already has the harness, this. Sometimes you need to buy these extra. Plugs out, plugs in the side. Okay. Make sure that is secure. Put your bill box back on there. Take these, take these off right here. See if you can see. All right, now I'm gonna take this. We're gonna set it. Right in there. Right on those screws right there. Make sure it doesn't fall. I'm gonna put one on here to secure it. has four, you have four studs that you can secure. Okay. Oh, I actually forgot to see what it's programmed for. Should be ones and fives. Let's take a look. So on the side here, hard to see, but you can set these little buttons right here. It's all uh, to ones and fives, tens and twenties. We are going to turn off 10s and 20s because we do not want the coin mech to get drained. Plus it has a credit card reader. So you just flip those little switches. Four way is on, on. High security is off. Four way on. And they have these little teeny buttons to change and then high security will be off and it's going to take one two and five it's going to take one dollar bills two dollar bills and five dollar bills so that should be good right there now we can put it back in there Now we're gonna grab our, it's already on there.
Now that has four. Really, they're really secure with a couple, but you just need this to be able to reach in there because you cannot reach that right there where I'm going without that. So I'm gonna screw that in. Screw that in right now. Now we've got two and then two more, four posts. Four posts, make sure everything is going on good here. Awesome. Now comes the fun part to hook them all together. To hook everything together. So it communicates. Just go ahead and throw four on here just to be good. So now I've got the bill. I've got the credit card reader up here. That's this coming through. Bill, coin down here, coin down here. Now you've got to get them all communicating together. So. First thing is you kill the power. 100% kill the power. Okay. Now that the power is off of the machine, we actually need a piece of, I don't have, think I have it. So we'll have to find that piece of Velcro because you want to, what I like to do, just take these and stick them, you can't see right up there. So you can see your um, modem right there. But for right now, what we'll do is hang it in here so that you can see what's going on. So now the power is off, okay? We have the coin, we have the bill. We have the credit card reader swipe. So we're gonna plug that in. Plug that in right there. So now that's good. Now, this harness coming off your bill validator has two plugs. Let's see if I can get a little close shot here for you. Let's see right here. This has two plugs right here, not the same, male and female. Let me get this uh, blocked up, this inner door. So what you want to do is find the plug for the board, for the main board. And right now, right now the main board is plugged only into the coin mat because there was no, there was no bill validator on there. So. Once you find the main board plug right here, this one goes to this board right here. This is for the machine. Now, you wanna run it first. Look at all these plugs and who knows what to do. First into your uh, credit card reader. So we're gonna come off of here. We're gonna plug in here. Off the credit card reader. Now these are the, there's only, you can only plug in one. So that's really kind of simple. Once from the credit card reader, then we're gonna go to the bill validator, okay? Male, female, only one of these plugs will fit. Okay, we're gonna plug that one in. So now we're gonna go from the bill to the coin, the last plug, and what do you know? That plug fits. So there you go. Easy as that, smash the like button, comment easy in the comments if you watched that, if you just saw how easy that was. Now you have all this, you can get a zip tie. You wanna make sure your antenna for your credit card reader is plugged in. Has a little metal, you can either put it inside the machine or on top of the machine. I'm just gonna set it there for right now. So now, 
Everything is plugged up. You want to move your cords out of the way. I can clean that up later. Clean the cords up later. So to recap, now we have the credit card reader connected to the bill validator, connected to the coin mech, which all feeds back into the main board. And there you go. If you didn't want the credit card reader, you would just plug the bill directly into the machine then the bill into the coin and you could bypass that. You wouldn't need that. So hope that helps when you're trying to set up your credit card reader. Now that the credit card reader is set up, take a look here for testing purposes. The coins need nickels in order to test money. So now, now that you have everything plugged in, then you can plug the machine back in. Then we can plug the machine back in. So, now we have the machine plugged in. Let's take a look. Are we getting power to everything? Let's see. Lights on on the bill validator, coin mech. And let's see how the credit card reader, if the credit card reader's on booting up right now that should be flash establishing cell connection that should be flashing blue and there we go so now the bill validator is lighting up coin mech so now it's ready for accepting payment so once you do that a few times it's not as uh you know when i first was trying to set up card readers and all that it can be a little bit uh a little bit to to get started but once you do it a few times then it's not as difficult so uh let's see like that okay so the payment is done and again i can clean up the uh the cords you could have little zip ties and clean them up so that they're not as messy this portion of the video is sponsored by Dishes and Fishes. If you like to cook and set hooks, go ahead and follow Dishes and Fishes on YouTube. So, that's good, the machine's clean. Now we have to, we're gonna need to program it or price it and then finish up doing this right here. Finish doing the columns. So this is where people say the, you know, the passive income, the passive income of vending right here. So these three are done. The rest need to be completed. <clears throat> Let's see. Move that back. Move that back. that back these back spacers tricky sometimes they can be tricky so those last two are not wanting to move so what we're gonna have to do is get a little angry about it the back spacers are good all the black um, product steps have been pulled up 
we've tested those three. Now we need to do four deep. Just gonna do four. Need to go back into service mode. Back into service mode. And let's go to test, vend, column three. No, we are on column four. Column four, we're gonna test it. Let me see. Just start loading them in the next column that we're going to be testing here. Boom, four down. Six to go. Woo! Gotta have quick hands. That one's done. Let's see what's going on, guys. Any questions, drop them in the chats. What's up, Derek? Oh, yeah, Derek, what's up? Let's see right here. All right. So now uh, we're just going to keep moving along. Let's change to the next motor, our next column, column six, two for enter. Just got to load the canister. Go. Now it'd be nice to have another hand here, but so that one's good. Just gonna keep on moving here. You gotta be quick, guys. So this one right here, it's not fitting all the way. So I did not move that back spacer all the way back. So now it's got three, but the fourth one won't fit. Move it back to the last little bit. And now four cans will fit. Keep on testing. Two. You want to do all this before you install the machine. Okay. That way when you get there, boom, done. All right, two more. Loading the column. See any columns in here? 
making sure everything's working. Last one. Oh, I think I, uh, There we go there we go so now every column has been tested and put that up we just need to price it uh, come over here hit the mode button so it's set for $1.75. I think here we have two tier pricing, dollar bottle water, uh, no commission, 75 cents soda, 85 cents if they swipe. So we are gonna set that up now. Air Mo, we're gonna go to, let me put this down a little bit. We're gonna go to, where are we at? Sale? No, we're gonna go to, cost it's gonna say cost we're gonna enter and we're gonna do the same thing like we did with the depth set where we're gonna set all of them to 75 cents and then I can go back and change the water instead of going individually so we're gonna see all on the screen right here enter uh, you hold in to go up give it a break and go sometimes it's tricky Press it again and it'll start counting down. So as you can see, it's going down 175, 160, 155. And we're gonna wait till it gets to 75. So now it's on 75 cents, so that's good. So let's enter that. So now if we enter into all, they should all be set at 75 cents. But we wanna change the, dollar, the, the water to a dollar, so we're going to go at when it says all selection one now comes up. We're going to enter. I'm going to change that. Hold on the first button to $1. Enter that in. Go back. I'll see. I might have not saved it. Let's see. So we'll get out of there. We'll go out. So now we know it's it's in not in service mode. We'll click this one, one dollar, seventy-five. Press them. Press the selections. So the cans are set for seventy-five dollars for water. So now it's priced. So what else do we need to do? How long did that take? Forty minutes. Forty minutes. What do we do? moved all the depth set, set all the depth, moved all the spacer bars, put on the credit card reader, plugged in the bill validator, coin mech, this thing's ready to go. So now when we install this at the location, we don't have to be fumbling around. We're trying to get it all set up. So if you take the time, whether it's at your house, your garage, your buddy's house, wherever, to get it ready to roll. If you have a question about what you just saw, you're watching the replay, watching live, let me know. Hope that helped Derek Bailey. And now <clears throat> for the final test, what I'm gonna do is close it up and let it run in here for a few hours. Make sure it's getting cold, everything's good. We're ready to go.
This is going to be in a back hallway, so the light doesn't even need to be on. If they ask, we can put a light bulb in. But there you go. That was a setup of a Vendo 721. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have an idea for another video, please let me know. But until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.